How to Write a Book, Part 2 If you're a born novelist, try your hand at non-fiction first. Not only do you get to start from a place of passion and familiarity, but you also have the market on your side. It's easier to write, sell, and promote. Nonfiction has a bigger market for both traditionally published books and self-published books. More publishers publish nonfiction than fiction, more book buyers purchase nonfiction books, and it's easier to build a career out of it by writing articles, giving seminars, and selling related products. Nonfiction writers have it a bit easier than novelists. Pick a nonfiction genre to get started. 15. Write a big idea book. These kinds of stories focus on a new concept, tool, or learning that will change how people love, work, and live. Teach other people one big thing you know. 16. Make a list book. The lists you keep for yourself, like a gratitude list or a list of local restaurants, can inspire and inform someone else. Take one of your lists and make it into a creative book. 17. Publish an educational photo book. Pair your most impressive photographs with interesting captions or stories of the local geography, history, flora, and fauna. 18. Compile a series of letters. If you have been part of an enlightening correspondence, and the other party involved is willing to share their story too, document your dialogue in a book. 19. Create an interview book. Compile interviews with inspiring individuals in your life, community, or professional field. Organize the book around a particular theme or turn the conversations into a series of essays that change the way people think. Consider content you have already written. You might already have created a body of work that can fill the pages of a book, it just needs to be compiled, organized, and formatted. The process of pulling these ideas together might even inspire another project of new material. 20. Print a series of blog posts. If you've already taken the time to compose daily or weekly articles, you're well on your way. Look for a common thread or topic running throughout, organize your posts into chapters or sections, and take your stories to the next level, in print. 21. Make a book of postcards. The art of snail mail doesn't have to be lost forever. Make a fun, quirky, or insightful coffee table book of postcards you've received or ones you've collected. 22. Publish love letters. Making love letters public is not for everyone, but if you and your beloved agree to the project, you just might find yourself with a one-of-a-kind collaboration featuring poems, stories, and reflections. You can also get creative and write a series of fictional love letters to people, places, objects, or events you adore. 23. Turn your journal entries into a book. The unique journal pages of artists, writers, photographers, travelers, and introspective individuals are a fascinating genre all their own. Sharing your personal reflections can inspire readers of all kinds. 24. Publish your own cookbook. Do your friends and families love gathering around your table to taste your culinary creations? Are you a foodie inspired by certain ingredients, dietary trends, family traditions, local or international cuisine? Share your favorite recipes. Subscribe for more videos.